Monkey Blade or Dragon Sonic back again with the Chinese Grand Prix for round 11, round 11 in the BDS Monoposto Formula 1 World Championship. And it's third season. It's the season finale here in China. And Uche and Braun GP have dominated this title to a T to a point where Uche has enough points to have won the title for both the constructors and drivers on his own. We missed out on qualifying, but it's good to know. Simeon is on pole, and Uche is right beside him in second. It was a very good qualifying lap from him. And it is wet in China, everyone. We've got Uche on the left-hand side. Simeon on his right. Gregory and Chima are fighting for second in the title. All five lights go on, and we are green in China, and that's a very good start from Isaac, but Simeon just blocks him off there. It was almost going to be a pass into the lead for the assistant BDS car, but Uche dives off the inside on Simeon, having none of this at all, and only up into second place, and Manny's up into, and it's, Simeon Gray takes the lead briefly there, and Gregory was almost up into a fourth place there, but backs down into, into six now, as he's fighting with Gregory over P5. And it's very clear to notice that if Gregory wins this race and j fails to finish or finishes eighth and below, he will finish second in the standings. And it's very important to notice that. But Diaz the Cheater have already had a very great start to this race already. And we've had chaos further back with Arnav, Oliver, and Ruben, they've all been tangled up. Uh, Red Bull and Ferrari having terrible qualifying and, and a terrible race start as well. But off the line, Simeon has a very good start, but not as good as Manny, who is already up into P3. Chima at P4, just following in the slipstream of the DS Cheetah, not getting past there. And, and Isaac's gone into this fight too. And that's someone going very wide there. And that's Amon for DS Cheetah and Jin for Mercedes. And Mercedes has revealed a chink in their armor as we're about to head into season four, which will have 13 races as season one was meant to have before it was cut down for TV runtime. But Jin is down in 17th place. He's got quite a lot of damage on his Mercedes. He's, and and so does Amon to her Team Lotus. It's very interesting to notice that Marussia Ferrari is going to leave Monopost to F1 at the end of the season. Three, two seasons with eventual race wins and being off camera. It was great. And it's gone dry. It's gone dry. Oh. It seems like we're about to swap from wet to dry. Isaac's up into P4 now. With Chima following in close on the slipstream with his championship rival, Gregory. He's wanting a new helmet for this weekend. And all over the back of the Mercedes driver. Meanwhile, on board with Sahas. Right now, P10. Following in the slipstream of, of Layla. Still no DRS as this is up to in the wet. But was still just falling, and all oh, Sars looked like he could have made the pass there. He's still defending from William and Jacob Stevens looking for a move down the inside. Not gonna happen here, chaps. But Uche's already pulled out two seconds on Simeon as he begun lap three. But Simeon's closed in rapidly to the Braun GP car. Does he have a problem? He's got damage. Uche's got a bit of damage to his car. It's not terminal or anything thing but it is damage following on board with Jacob Stevens P13 in for Ferrari Ferrari having a terrible qualifying session and a terrible race currently we're on lap 3 of 28 with no points to be awarded for the Ferrari car and still we ride on board with them coming through this little squiggly bit of the track before the absolute snail boy but here we are on the straight heading into S snail canyon as i like to call it We're running through it now with simeon and looking back he's not close enough to jay to make a pass but he's certainly not under threat from anyone behind but someone who's definitely under threat from people behind 
is Manny because Chimera is all was all up on his gearbox, but he just dropped away a little bit as well as Gregory because Gregory is nowhere near this way. But Isaac goes up the inside at the pin at the final turn to take P4, but they're side by side on the line. And now, but Isaac still seemingly holding the lead of this race is into turn one we go the team are just edging ahead ever so slightly but we're gonna switch back now and isaac's just not able to capitalize on it so team remains in p4 and dsk Chita keep their two three on lap four of 28. riding on board with jami the p19 driver for marisha Ari. it's very good to know this marisha is, is going to retain their drivers even after they leave. They have discussed the contracts and everything with the drivers, and they keep their seat. And that's very good for Jami, because that means he can, t he can continue making drives and overtakes like this. As he was almost up into P17 in that, because uh, he's chasing down Jun, who, if you are unaware, had a huge shunt into the wall with a man, and, and came off of it worse after having a terrible start as well. Well, Chimera has dropped off the back of Manny there as well. Well, as he's still under threat from Isaac. And Manny is actually closing in on his teammate, Simeon. And we've got Team Radio from Manny. Okay, Manny. Do your best to hold station. Hold station. You're going to you're gonna hear the same message from Simeon. So, so keep your... Car in P3, hold station. So they don't want to have any form of overtaking, battling, or anything like that. It's team orders down at DS Cheetah. But someone who I know will never have team orders lobbied against them is Gregory, two-time race winner. Back to almost back to back, one three finishes, four Renault downs. So it's very good to know that they are going to actually change up their livery for next season. And, and you won't believe what you're going to see. The same with DS to... Actually, not the same with DS to Cheetah. DS to Cheetah will actually retain their current livery. Braun GP will change their livery. Yeah, and Sahara Force India are, are going to keep the BWT sponsorship, but only at the night races. Is McLaren are changing their liveries to something very different and I can't wait to show you guys what that's gonna be. It's gonna be the return to something very, very classy. But everyone else's liveries is gonna remain the same apart from Red Bull actually. Because Red Bull are going to be driving for in the wings for life colours at night races as well. As we begin lap six after giving you that quick rundown of season four, Uche still leads Simeon still second, Manny still third, and Chima and Isaac are still squabbling over that P4 position, and, and Gregory's just lurking in the background, waiting for these two to tangle. He can barely see him though, because but if these two tangle, they are probably going to bring Manny into it too, putting Gregory up into P6, meaning that they may, they may very much just have a bit of a squabble and two drivers who are having a bit of a squabble now uh, is Layla and Sahas. Sahas exactly 10 seconds down on the race leader, but they're still fighting over P9. And, and Layla's gone back up into the position in that Isaac's just dropping back from Chimera ever so slightly. <coughs> this Vegeta driver does have a bit of damage on his car. I'm sorry, the Renault driver. Going on board with our race leader now, you can see that we've got a better field of view for this race in China, and this is going to roll over into Season 4. Still, map 7 of 28. We are one-fourth of the way through this race. <coughs> 21 laps to go. And still, Simeon is holding piece 2 very well for a driver who can barely hold himself off in quality as soon as he can he does very well and we are going to take a short little break for lap seven enjoy the audio
Oh, wait, there is no audio. I, I apologize. I apologize. I made the I made the fatal flaw of turning off engine sounds. Everyone, I am I am a great professional YouTuber. Very professional. And we're back. I am bored with Chima, who has closed in on Manny once more. Manny is sort of closing up to his teammate again. It's lap 8 of 28. 20 laps to go, but team orders are definitely in effect today. But look at Gregory. I'm sorry, look at Isaac. He's right alongside and up the inside of the Mercedes driver of Chima, pushing him a bit wide. And on the apex, and Chima's just forced to back down through turn two. So it's Uche Luis, Simeon second, Manny third, Isaac fourth, Chima fifth, Gregory sixth. Gregory is loving the chaos up front, but he can't make too much of a no effort to overtake because then he's just going to stay P3 in the standings. He can't drop down to P4 because Jin is down in 17th place. So. But the two BWT Force Indias still may follow and they are doing very well to stay in P7 and P8, respectively. They haven't tangled at all, but Rishab has, has definitely got overtaking on the mind. And it's not actually that terrible of a race. We are getting a few overtakes up and down the grid. And Gregory is closed up within one second of the Mercedes of Chimera. It seems like Chimera is slowing down quite a lot, actually. He's not got as much damage to his car as our race leader. But Isaac's definitely closed up to Manny. Because he's within a tenth of the DS to Cheetah. He can definitely get past on this lap. Gregory, not so much. But this is definitely going to be a fight for the Eons. And as... Isaac remains in the slipstream in no error in margin for anyone here because as soon as a single error is made, it all goes downhill for you. You saw that with Jen, you saw that with Amon. They're now out of the points. And Jen out of contention for the P, the reposition in the championship. But Isaac still wanting some podium success, so then he is shown to be worthy of staying in the team because they've got their junior Dan David in reserves and he could very easily take that place from Isaac up at Braun GP. But we're still following with Isaac. Now P4 for the, for the Braun GP team and he's dropped off the back of Manny. He's very good at closing in on the straight so can he do that again here? Can he Close up a lot more on the DS to cheat a car. Doesn't seem like it here. Because as he comes into the apex. I was about to say Isaac was nowhere near. But Jin is clearing multiple cars today. He's already cleared Aeon. But he took a very long while to do that. Ten laps in fact. But the entire close back in thing. Did definitely mean that he had to take a bit of a learning break there Chima following with Isaac because he still needs these points in the, the drivers championship he, he's definitely holding second place in the championship unless he t angles with anyone so he needs, needs to make sure that there is a buffer between him and Gregory because Gregory could very easily just take out Chima. Even if we've got 18 laps in this race, is he could very easily, he could Gregory come back at Chima and take the race win from him. 
from Uche's hands. And, and that would really make the guys at uh, Mercedes absolutely freaking mad here. You can see Isaac is still nowhere near the DS Cheater of Manny. You could definitely look behind that car and you would see an absolute wall of nothingness, but a pixel of a possible overtake being made. Same with Johnny. He's staying in the slipstream. Does he pull out to try and make a pass? Not here. You can see that Mercer have gone for a special yellow roll in front nose tip for their farewell race in China. And it's very cool to see them even do something for this race because many other teams have done absolutely nothing. That's 17 laps to go in this race. And, and breaks would be necessary, so just keep this running in the background and, and keep cheering on your favorite driver to, I don't know, probably take the lead of this race or something. I don't know. Still no DRS on lap 11 because... The sky is not clearing at all. It's still raining, and even though one team in particular is saying that it might stop raining in three laps time. And that team, of course, being McLaren, a team that would definitely try and benefit from another rain, another rain race. Teamer is closed in on Isaac, though, so this could be a very titanic battle then, because it's now Teamer's got to follow in the slipstream and dirty air of Isaac as they get into the snaily bit of the track, which actually would take a bit of time. And the two DS cheaters have caught up to each other on track, so this could be a big lunge from two different cars and teams, and it'd be very cool to. Any, any form of pass or overtake being made in here today in Shanghai, China. So through that little short area before the squiggly bit, it, Manny has lost time on Simeon. So I mean, no pass being made there. Chima though, Chima though, he's still on the back of Isaac on this straight. He could very much make the pass. On Isaac, he's in the slipstream. It's a Mercedes driver. He's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining. Can he maybe do an audacious move to the inside? Not here. He thinks better of it, but he loses so much time trying to straighten up his car or trying to go through this little uh, piece of track as Uche begins lap 13 of 28. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break here to bring back the V12s. Yeah, everyone, how's that? Way better, right? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Running on board with Ethan, then. P8 driver for B for BWT Sahara Force India. Stay to the on BWT Force India. Sahara is only going to be part of the team branding, but not part of the team name. Is still riding on board with Ethan. He's very close to the back of Rishab, I'll tell you that. You look behind with him, and you've got a McLaren, Mer a McLaren Honda of Layla all over the back of that BWT Force India. And they're still very close together through the snelly bit wet, and you do lose a lot of time to the, to the driver ahead. And, and as you go on to the straight, the car in front has always had an advantage there. And it does not change here. Ethan may be closing in, but we're going to hit the braking zone soon. We hit the braking zone now. You can see ahead. Gregory trying to make the pass, but he just can't get close enough. And Ethan tries to put some more heat into his tires. Layla's is searching for a move down the inside. Doesn't work out there. Yeah, and we're actually going to take a look up the road because... Is, yeah, you did see that right. Gregory was almost ready to make the pass it's on um, Chimera, but Layla's closed up immensely on Ethan. Maybe she could have gone around the outside. Maybe she could have dived down the inside when she had the chance. 
she chose against that and it's a bit too bad actually this race is becoming quite the procession this was gonna supposed to be a bombastic way to finish off the season but at half race distance it just doesn't seem to be providing too much action action sorry i can't speak english if it wasn't obvious already but still following on board with layla as she's trying to get past the force india of even still now it's time to go through that squiggly bit of track maybe she could have done a switchback not quick enough through there though to actually make it happen so still onto the straight we go Ethan's got no slipstream here Layla's definitely got slipstream maybe is she heading into this braking zone could take a P8 from the Force India but look at how much 38 air she's in and the exit that all the cars ahead are getting it is just not going to happen here today folks but Richard closing in on Gregory not very impossible for a move to happen and there is actually no moves being made across the track Jommy's down in last place now but that's not too much of an actual event happening yeah. apart from the fact that well Marisha's having a woeful final race is to end the tenure in Monoposto Riding on board with Gregory for the Renault Dams outfit, who will remain. But still, it has been a great ride. I hope you've enjoyed this ride as well. We've still got 13 laps of this season to go. But it's still going to be a great weekend for everyone. I'm not sure when I'm actually going to be posting this. I'm actually posting this during my supposed hiatus. Well, not obvious because, well, I don't actually like not working on videos. Anyway, over the final leg. Next now, Isaac P4 just trying to close in on the Manny. Just not close enough at all. Lap 16 of 28. 12 laps to go and we'll actually take the proper break everyone needed. Stars and Layla now, they're fighting over P9. We're back from the break, everybody. And we've finally got a good pace of racing action now, with Layla just dropping in to stay in the slipstream of the Renault Dams now P9 car. Newton's put out 10 seconds, and Stu Simeon already. It is a dominant showing to cement his dominant season. And then Sarhas is just dropping Layla. In the dust, we're gonna follow behind and through this little hairpin. And, and yeah, you can see how a car can actually drop another on a straight, just increase your power on an exit, and boom, very easily done. And uh, lead take. Team Red very close to the back of Isaac there, but now we're gonna drop back down in order to Arnav and Riley with Arnav down the inside on the Red Bull car of Riley and threw up into P17. And, and we've got the Ferrari there of Ruben going from 20th to 19th there if Aon can't do anything about it. We've got these new camera angles here of the Chinese Grand Prix and they should be here to stay for the rest of the season. I mean the championship, sorry, because we have no more of this season to go after this race. Because with 11 laps to go, Uche leads, Simeon second, it's still wet here in China. 
running on board with our last place driver of Johnny P20. He can barely make out the action happening right in front of him. And but there's still no real or major overtakes happening. And if it's an overtake, then it's a really minor and quick one. It's never a long drawn out battle. Even though we've got Oliver now, or pulling out alongside from the slipstream of the Ferrari. And he's going to go down the inside and take P20 in rather confusing circumstances there almost. And we've got Charles coming into the Charles Spence on lap 18 of 28, 10 laps to go. And this is going to be for Slick possibly. No, it's for another set of Inters! It's for another set of Inters! These Inters are not lasting full race distance! And there it is! It's now absolutely crucial now to keep saving your tires, everybody! Because we've just seen Sars go for, from P9 all the way down to P22, last place in this race. And that fight for P16 now is as close as, that, as it's ever been with the drivers from P13 uh, below P. Actually, it's P11 and below. Every point, every non point point position is within striking distance of each other. We've got nine laps to go here in, in Singapore. And we still haven't had too much crazy lead changes. As soon as Uche took a lead on lap one, he ran with it. He was not going to let anyone else have his precious. It's about looking behind with Manny, and you can see the brawn of Isaac. He's looking for the IFP3. He, he, he threw his Isaacs. And Aeon picks as well. He's got car damage as well as tire wear issues. And he's definitely going to be pitting for another set of intermediate tires. No slicks here. Yes, it's another set of inches, and it was slow on the front right. And for that puts Jun up into P15. He just needs to take care of his tires. I did not say go off track, but he does that anyway. And he has he's gone way off track there. And running on board with Isaac as he tried to take the podium position. Making it a 1 3 for Braun GP in the final race of this season. And a really cool thing that the DS Cheetah have done is had one of their driver's helmets be red and the other one be green. And here at Braun, it's very similar but different at the same time. One of their helmets is black and the other one is filled with color. Swap 20 of 28. Eight laps to go in China. Uche leads. Simeon second by a long mile back. Nanny third. Isaac fifth. Isaac fourth. Chamar fifth. But for how long will that be? Because if he can close up here, he could definitely rattle up the race order with eight laps to go. As Richard and Jola both pick for another set of intermediate tyres. And this race has become a dire situation of stay out or look back. Because. Because now, it's, it's unquestioned. If you can't take care of your tires, and that's it. Benito, you're going to have to pit again, my friend. Riding on board with Jomi, P18. Ah, now. <coughs> Still trying to thread his way past the Ferrari of Ruben, but further back down the order, we've got Saha spotting with Rishab over P19. But it doesn't seem to be going in anywhere fast. The same with Jomi for Marisha. Marisha are having a very terrible going in for their final race. It was a bad start and a bad ending. It's map 21 of 28. We are one quarter from the end of this season. And it seems to be drying up a little bit. Almost dry here. Chimer comes into the pit. Let's see what tires he comes out on. If it's new inches, it is new inches, and I think he might have made a minor problem and mistake there. Um, Ethan pit also new inches. Many drivers pitting for new inches here. 
the Isaac on the back of Manny, and for Gregory, this might actually be exactly what he needed. He's got a, he's got a semi-clear track in front of him, and now he's ahead of his championship rival. It's not going to be, however, enough to take P2 from him, because he'd need a 22-point advantage on him. That's mathematically possible, and that has to finish the dry tires. It is dry in China, everyone, and and Chamber has made it for the cold wonder. It's gonna have to pit again. Everyone in the back, this is so pitting again. Everyone is pitting again for the dry tires, and with seven left to go. We do not pit onto the soft tires like Sahas has. Why would you pit onto the hard? With the speed deficit they will give you. But it is wet. It is no longer wet in China. This, this clouds have parted with seven laps to go. UJ has come into the pit for the soft tires. As he should, with six laps to go now, I should say. He put, but hopefully. In many drivers can actually have a very good pit stop here today, and and it's slow for Isaac. He's finally out of the pit. It's 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 him. It's still gonna be P2. He's still P2. Manny, he has the double stack. Is he still P3? No, he is not. Isaac is past Manny in the pit stops. Everybody, everybody, and Gregory's close to that distance in the rear. And Layla is in P6 now. Well, and the Standing order has been shaken up by all of these pit stop shenanigans, and Oliver is still on inters. Oliver is still on his same intermediate tires, and they're going to get worn out very quickly. And he's going to get swamped by the drivers behind him. And look at his dash; it's only you're doing about 190 kph on that part of the straight. Meanwhile, Lay Lay is. Over 230. He's at a major speed disadvantage, and Oliver blocks him. He blocks him anyway. He wants to hold on to that P9 position and point as long as he can on those same tires, but it's just not going to last there. As Blaze almost up as a P9 there, and this is bringing Jin and Starhouse back into the equation. And today, everyone, this is the most chaotic race you've ever seen. And to finish off season three, I started out by saying this was quite the boring race by how the cars would just line up single file and Jens up into P10 and with Blaze up into P9, DRS has been activated and it is plain for everyone to see you should have pitted four fly tires. Uche still got the fast lap of the Grand Prix, I'm pretty sure he would have had to reset that because of the fact that, well, we're on dry tires now, and he set that in the wet. But with five laps to go, it's all kicking off here. Oliver finally makes a pit stop. I'm pretty sure he might have actually just missed the pit stop while it, it was raining. Actually, I doubt it, actually. And Aeon sets the fast lap for the ground, and he goes, and why does it? Inside goes the Lotus Driver, and up in that P19, he goes. So it's a very good overtaking from many drivers, but strategical blunders is from others. It's very in interesting, these final laps here in, in China. We were hoping to finish the season on a high note. It was looking like it would be finished in a bland note, but Jin with DRS coming up to this straight, lap 24, 28. This is not a bland note at all. It's been a wet to dry race. It's, it's been a fun race as well. And still, even if our championship winner has won the majority of these races in this season, it does not mean at any moment we've had a boring season at all. This has been the most action-packed season of the BDS F1 Monoplus World Championship. Multiple winners, finally. And I just can't wait for you to go over it again. Jin exactly lost his DRS to Nathan Martin. Richard and then Ayana fighting over the fast lap of the Grand Prix. Uche's got no hope of the fast lap without DRS. 
Even if this ERS regen is pretty good. Running on board with Manny, the P4 driver for DS Vegeta. He's got four laps to close in and pass Isaac. I don't think he's got the RF, but luckily for him, no one behind him would have it either. Actually, I actually take that back because Gregory is within striking distance for DRF and Chima. Uh, there's damage flying off the back of one of his cars. I saw a bit of damage. It's not sure off of what car that might have been. And but Chima pulls out wide. He's gonna and not even flip stream and drive it here. He's using a DRS to reduce as much drag as possible. Up into 13th place, and can he take P12? It's tied too much, and he just lost traction there. But he does take P13, but he swooped across the track there a little, a little too late there. But with DRS again, Kimura finally takes P12, and, and now he's off the chase after the Red Bull and his teammate, but he's got three laps to do it. He's not going to make it, I don't think he is. Yeah, he probably won't. Ooh, he has been passed by Anna there, and he tries to repass and does repass him for P19 there. That's a very smart line and from the Lotus driver, one of the most experienced drivers on the field. And it seems to me that it's very obvious. Rookie of the year is Jun for Mercedes. He's with a very good P4 championship finish currently. He's going to get one point compared to the person he was trying to fight for the championship. Gregory, who will get 10 points today. 26 of 28. That's how many laps are on. And Gregory's up as a P4. He dives down the inside of the DSG of Manny with the DRS. Beautiful move. And he's off to find the Braun GP of Isaac with each overtake he makes. He's one step closer to getting up into the podium positions and Zaha picks again. Now, what could this be? He's got damage to the car and he's worn his tires way too much there. And, and yeah, the soft tires are actually wearing out a lot more than anyone could have ever guessed. I don't think Uche he, and Isaac, I don't think Uche, Isaac, Jacob Stevens, Iman, Jin, I don't think they can. Yeah, I doubt they're gonna make it to the end of this race. They probably can't. They almost I mean, definitely can't, but. Anna goes up round the outside of Angela there for P17 in this race. Angela is still fighting him back. As you can see up the road, Gregory for the podium. Gregory up is a P3. He is the greatest midfield driver of the entire grid. And he deserves to be up high on the grid. And AJ has come into the pit for another stop. His, his stop ties just couldn't make it. Through the full race, and he is vulnerable now to Gregory, who may not have a better tires, but he's got more rubbered in tires there up to temperature, and he could very easily take P2 from the Braun driver, but it's still not going to be P2 in the standings for Gregory. Still not close enough for that. Running on board with a champ with a former championship hopeful. Still running on board with Gregory there. And he's actually under threat from Nanny. But is going to have no DRS here. So we can get one and go down all the way. Into P5. So that Gregory and Manny they're closing in, but not close enough. Simeon begins the final lap 
of the Chinese Grand Prix, a race that UJ had always set in stone before a pit stop due to warm tires. Absolutely killed his race chances, and down the inside goes Gregory. Can he hold the position there? He does just about on the switch back, and all of us in the wall. All of us crashed out. He's in the wall. I think that's the turn three. Gregory's up into second place, but not for too long as UJ retakes the position. And then his final sprint of this race is, is absolutely kicking off some of the best driving and the most mistakes we've ever seen today. But with Simeon, he has been a very, very smart driver, doing what he needed to, just holding back where he had to. Whenever he could have. And so through this, this penultimate that penultimate turn on the track. Through the former DRS line, which he's gonna have none of. But Gregory's definitely gonna have. So through the penultimate turn he's gonna go then. And through the final turn then for DS the Cheetah! It's another win! For a new team on the grid! Simeon wins the season three finale in China. OJ second, Gregory third, but one dropping on the line there. And, and Manny should be fourth. Manny is fourth. Isaac fifth. Layla sixth. And all the other cars come across the line to finish the final race of the season. Yeah, I watch videos when I'm recording these, these races. Yeah, what did you think? So the race classification goes as this: Simeon wins, Uche second, Gregory third, Manny fourth, Isaac fifth, Layla sixth, Iman seventh, Lays eighth, Riley ninth, Chima tenth, Johnny eleventh, Rishab twelfth, Ruben thirteenth, Anna fourteenth, Aon fifteenth, and Joel is sixteenth. Jacob Stevens 17th, William 18th, Ethan 19th, Jin 20th, Sahas 21st, and Oliver 22nd and last. In the final championship standings, well, it goes a little something like this. Uche is our world champion, 179 points by the time the chicken flag fell down in China. Timur is second on 83, Gregory third, in on 75 Simeon tied fourth with Isaac on 61 points Jin sixth on 56 points Jacob Steven seventh on 50 points Manny eighth on 46 points Sahas ninth 45 points Ruben tenth 44 points it's a tied P11 with William and Riley both on 32 points <clears throat> Rishab, 13th place on 31 points. Ethan, on 30 points, down in 14th position. And Jommy and Layla tied 29 points. <clears throat> and, and Jola, P18, 25 points. Lays, P19, 15 points. Iman, P20, 13 points. Arnav, 21st, on 6 points. Oliver last place on three points. That's right. It's your world champions, Uche and Sega Braun GT, and it's me, Blader Dragon Sonic, wishing you a happy May, and thank you for watching this world championship.